Hi there and welcome to what is now episode 13 of our Timber and Stone Let's Play series. And in the previous episode, we had a little bit of trouble building this loom over here. And all that was needed, all that we needed to do was not with Bernard, but with Taylor, with not Taylor, Jennifer Hughes, was we needed to give her some iron shears. So she now has her iron shears. And as soon as she had those iron shears, she went and built the loom straight away and started making a load of cotton. So we actually now have, how much cotton do we have now? Cloth, sorry. We now have 23 cloth, and we could probably go and make a load more, actually. Four. He's four cotton. We've got 220, so let's add 25. That'll be 100 that that uses. So we could do another 25 after that, and that'll be 200. Mm, no, actually, let's, uh, let's remove that from the queue. Let's just get, yeah, let's get 25. That uses 100. That'll bring us up to 100. We'll, we'll bring us down to 100 cotton. So that should be all right. Um, in terms of our actual buildings over here, we got this new building done. And doesn't it look pretty? So pretty. And, but we're running out of bricks, actually, at the moment. And we're running out of wood as well. Let's just um, go ahead and add something here. Let's add this. Let's track that resource there. So yeah, we're running out of um, wood, running out of bricks. And the reason for that is because, once again, uh, we don't have anything in the queue. Oh, actually, we're actually running out of wooden logs. That's one of the reasons. So that's a bit an issue. We've got Harry stone hammers broken, Lynette's per toes stone hammers broken. That may also stop them from, I don't know how many stone hammers we've got left, actually. Tools, stone hammer. Oh, we've got 15. We've got plenty of stone hammers. Um, we've got a load of stone pickaxes as well. We did build our iron pickaxes, and we built up a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a, an ingot, not an ingot, but a raw materials deposit here. So if we look at iron ingots, we've got uh, 69 ore now, so we can build eight more iron ingots. We've got 11 tin ore, so we can build uh, 11 more tin ingots. Copper, copper ingots, we've got nine copper ore, so we can build eight, no, four more copper ingots, not that many. Um, bronze, I've got loads of tin ingots, but copper ingots, we yeah, we, we, we're doing well for them. Steel, we got... Oh, we got, we got quite a lot of coal, actually. I didn't realise we had that much coal. That's pretty cool. Okay, and silver ingots, we don't really have any uh, silver, gold, or mithril ore at the moment anyway. So we've got lots of cloth now, though. Um, so we're doing well there. And why do we need wheels? Wheels are used in all storage transportation applications and are an important component in mobile siege equipment. Wheels are used in all storage transportation applications. Storage transportation applications? That makes absolutely no sense to me, but I'm sure it's important. It makes me think that the uh, builder's carts, or things like that, the things with actual wheels could potentially move, or you could maybe move the, uh, you know, the main, the big, you know, the, the, what, what do you call that? The kind of home, I guess, or the home of materials. Makes me think that you could move those, but you can't, so, hmm. And Lynette doesn't actually have anything to do at the moment because we haven't we still I went into here to actually do a task which was this we've got loads of dirt now one of the problems we had before was that we didn't actually have any dirt so let's go and build some bricks let's put should I put a hundred straight on the queue yeah I may as well put a hundred straight on the queue um, for bricks and in terms of wooden planks we're slowly getting more logs but let's put 50 wooden planks on the queue, just because. Now, fences. You need wooden logs, but you're not building any fences at the moment. That's because, surprise, surprise, stones, mason, carpenter, both fast asleep there. Come on, guys. Now is not the time to sleep. It's the middle of the day, and you're sleeping on the ground in the sunlight. Um, but, yeah, we've actually got a little bit of a bridge here now as well, so people can walk between the, the two rooftops. And, yeah, this is looking really cool. I'm really impressed with this. We go down, page down, page down, page down, page down. Ooh, we got, oh, we got, we got a merchant. Um, who's the, who's the Taylor? Taylor, 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 Taylor. Come on, Taylor Swift. Uh, be swift. Become a trader quickly. And go, go, go. You are now a trader. There we go. Okay. You're now a level six trader as well. Good. Okay. Fantastic, got there just in time. Um, we're getting a fair amount of food now, but we're not still not attracting any more magnets. Could really do with some more magnets. Ah, oh, we're a bit too late for the um, for the trade there, unfortunately. That's okay, Jennifer. You can just stay there. Uh, yeah, but we could do with some more migrants. So we could really do with more food. 
Don't know what we could do to get more food, actually. Is pumpkins food? I mean, are pumpkins food? We've got loads of pumpkin seeds. Do pumpkins turn into food? I think they do. I assume they do. Same as turnips. Turnips are definitely food. We've got loads of potato seeds. Some wheat seeds. Lots of wool. Wow. That is a lot of wool. I'm sure that pumpkins are, su are, are food. I'm just wondering if we need to actually do anything with them. Because I think you need to use wheat to make bread, don't you? Because you can't obviously can't build... Uh, you can't eat wheat. You have to eat bread. And where would that be? Would that be under building, maybe? No? Tools? I honestly wouldn't know where to look for that. Because it wouldn't be under raw, would it? Unless you could create food. Potato seeds, pumpkin seeds, wheat seeds, animal fat, animal hide, cotton, feathers, fibers, spider silk, wheat, wool seedlings. Hmm. It's not under weapons. Wouldn't have thought it would be under tools, but you never know. No, it's not under tools. It's not under armor. And it's not under crafting either. Hmm, I wonder where you can actually make bread. Or if you need to do something odd, like place a, place a structure of bread. Like in Minecraft, where you place cake. But either way, I'm sure... Oh, stone hair's broken. Ah, well. We're getting loads of pumpkins, though. If I just have a look at your inventory, for example, and see what you've got now. You've got loads of cotton, pumpkin seeds, loads and loads of food, turnip seeds. Wow, you've got so much stuff. What about you? So if I watch your inventory, when you finish mining this pumpkin... Are you actually mining these pumpkins, or are you just planting them? Not really sure what you're doing. Because you're not getting anything in your inventory. What about you? So you've got loads of food. So I think pumpkins do just turn into food. So there shouldn't be anything for us to worry about there. Yeah, yeah, that was... You got one pumpkin there, and from that one pumpkin you got a pumpkin seed and two food. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. And we've got over 200 food now, so... Hopefully some sort of migrant will show up at some point because we do need to we, we need more we need more farmers to be honest Oh, that's appeared That wasn't there before That has appeared So we need to uh, we need to build out to, to mine that raw stone and I think we need to go there. Yeah, let's go out there So we need to mine that whatever it is iron stone something and so let's have a look down underground, see how they're getting on. They're getting on quite well, actually. Mining away there. I may actually change one of our miners into a uh, into a farmer. How are these guys? You're a level 16 miner. You're crap at farming. What about you? You. Let me click on you. Elwood. What do you do? You're level 11 miner, so you're not very good at mining. Um, but you're also not very good at farming either. What about this, my friend? You are Dominique. You're a good miner, so far as I remember. Oh no, only level 13, but level 4 fisherman. I think you, Elwood, you can potentially... Oh, you've got the iron pickaxe as well, Elwood. Hmm. Because you're only a level 11 miner, let's transition you into being a farmer. And a merchant has arrived. And Ralph is now level 10. So bronze hammer's broken. And Robert Rice is now level 16 minor. And our trader is just sat there waiting for whomever's going to come to us. They always seem to come from this really long road, don't they? Let's zoom over here. There they are. There's the trader. Hello! How are you? Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, random tool chest. Hello. Uh, so... How are we doing? That still needs to be built. I imagine that Lynette and uh, Harry are uh, getting bored of my commands. Um, structures. Doors. We want a solid wood door or do you want a wooden iron door? What did I build last time? That's just a solid wood door, isn't it? Yeah, we don't need a wooden iron door. We just want solid wood doors, don't we? To open out onto the world. So something like that would be nice. And another solid wood door here. And that will be utterly beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Oh, this is just looking so cool now with these uh, 
with this little area. We need to start thinking of crenellations. Now, crenellation-wise, and a crenellation is... You're in there already. Hmm. I imagine they're trading. Because I had that bug at the beginning when they didn't actually look at each other, but I'm sure they're trading fine. Um, so crenellation-wise, I looked at doing this before, and the actual way that the crenellations work, they don't match up. So if I were to click there and then hit, hold on control, see it's uneven. I don't like that. I don't like unevens. So, oh, hello. Wheat seeds for rope. Oh, I li I, I've not... I've already got wheat seeds and I'm not planting wheat at the moment and I need my rope so I'm going to decline that trade actually and let's fast forward a bit again but yeah crenellation wise thinking we start at the corner in fact we could do something a little bit clever here I say that it is me controlling this oh spider silk for food yeah, I'm going to accept that because we don't actually have any spider silk and there's no way that we can get spider silk either because we have monsters turned off. So, Stonehouse broken, Jennifer Hughes is now a level 7 trader. And game speed is double. We successfully crafted bricks. We successfully crafted some wooden planks. Yeah, we're doing well. Cool. So, trader's gone now, or the merchant, shall I say, is gone. Uh, so, let's get on designing these crenellations. I think we should do something a little bit clever and kind of go there like that and then what does that end up with no it's still uneven so let's go to say here and we don't want anyone to look through that door there like that so we have threes by the doors and then we can go across to there Like so. I'm thinking of maybe even making this a little bit higher. If I made this a bit higher, then we could have a kind of tower type thing at the top, at the at this area here. So let's go for some wall there. Like that. And then if we go back to building, whoops, building with wood planks. Put some wood planks around there. Although, let's say uh, that's actually uh, shift and alt. Let's remove those wood planks there. So there's a little bit of a step up. And then we'll have build uh, bricks. Hmm. What do you reckon? There or there and there? I'm thinking there down to there but without those two in the middle. That could be quite cool. Yeah, let's go with that. And let's do the same over here. Like so. And we need our wooden planks in the middle. And then crenellations again. With brick. Oh, we can't actually do that. And here, we're actually going to extend this out. This is going to be a walkway as well. So we're going to have like a kind of bit there. We're going to have some wooden planks on the go that come out like that as well. And that's going to look really cool. Although, actually, we don't want that, do we? Because we want the wooden planks to go around. Hmm. Let's remove that for now. Hmm. Well, that's going to look cool. Either way. And so this area... Might just have wood, actually. Just have wood sticking out. Because we just want it to be a walkway, don't we? So we could just have wood sticking out. I think that might be the best way to do it. If we just had some wood going along there. There's a three, maybe? Or just a two? Let's just do two. So that's all we really need. We just need the two there. Although, oh no, we can't have it there. Okay, that's fine. Let's get rid of that and that. Yeah, that'll look cool. Awesome. So we've kind of laid out the structure anyway. And uh, how are we doing otherwise? 
We've got 379 food now, so we're actually getting loads of food. Um, not got anything to worry about with regards to food anymore. And who's got the iron pickaxe? It's obviously not going to be coal. Who has the iron pickaxe now? Is it you, Robert? What do you have in your inventory? It is you with the iron pickaxe. So let's go up here. Let's send you over here. And you're going to mine something for me. Oh, there's another trader. There's another merchant. Go all the way up here, please. Oh, no, your encumbrance limit. Uh, okay, we'll, uh, we'll raise your encumbrance limit as well. Merchant's arrived in your settlement. He came from that direction again. Strange. Right, we're going to raise your encumbrance limit to 15 just temporarily while you come over here and mine this block of whatever it is for us. When you finish mining that block, you can also get rid of the uh, junk that's there. Look at that. That's looking awesome. And there's actually two hay bales now. That's awesome. That's really cool. Right. Hopefully, you're going to... Oh, Merchants is willing to give us flax seeds in exchange for wood logs. Uh, we've got loads of flax seeds, haven't we? Haven't we? There's a flax farm there, I think. And I can't actually open my resources tab. I think we have loads and loads of flax seeds. We've got loads of flax. But since it says zero, it worries me a little bit. I'm going to accept that because wood is easy to come by. Flax seeds are not easy to come by if we don't have them. So there we go. He's mining that. Beautiful. Oh, three leather in exchange for six foot. Yeah, I'll accept that because we don't have any leather. So let's also dig this. When you're finished, I wonder what he has on him now. Oh, design. Oh, two iron ingots in exchange for four wood logs. I'll accept that because I always like iron ingots. Uh, dig that. There we go. Um, so let's keep the dig button open. Oh, four spider silk. Yes, always want spider silk. Let's hit that to dig. And you should be able to actually reach the rest of this from above there. So I'm just going to mark the rest of that to be dug out there. That should be fine. And then let's set your encumbrance limit again. If we can, preferences, no, professions, inventory, encumbrance limit. Let's bring that back down to 10. There you go. You're over encumbered. Go and drop stuff off. And what did you actually have on you in terms of your inventory? Was it anything interesting? Tin ore. So nothing too spectacular. Just a bit of tin. And the merchant is gone now. Cool. So we had a few successful trades there. We got some nice stuff. Let's uh, go up here again. Right, that's starting to look a little bit better. With those crenellations. And so let's, uh, let's continue work on the crenellations. And build with brick. Along here. Yeah, that, that looks fine, actually. I'm happy with that. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to leave crenellations off the uh, off the platform. So I don't think we actually need them for everything. And uh, that is going to be our entrance entrance way pretty much done. We just need to put a basically put a roof on these uh, on these rooms here. And in fact, if we did something like left a space for a window there and uh, worked our way around. Whoa, lag. Worked our way around. I hope I'm still on bricks here. I imagine I am. And so, yeah, let's leave one, two, three, space for a window. And bring this round. And that'll be cool. And soon we're going to have two completed buildings in the grand entrance to our lovely new castle. So it's taken a while, but we're actually getting there, and it's uh, it's going pretty well. How are we doing underground? Yeah, they're doing all right. Not doing too badly. We really need that food to to. How much food have we got? We've got 337 food, and how much storage have we got for food? Well, we've got 300 storage for food, which is because each food block takes up something like 0.3. We can. 
get up to maybe even a thousand food, which would be really cool. Or 900 or something like that. Maths was never my strong point. Um, but yeah, I think it's getting dark now, so let's go and light up these campfires. Add logs, add logs. This is a, a big waste of logs, actually, but it's, uh, it's tradition, so you have to stick to tradition. We might actually, considering the amount of wood we're using at the moment, we might actually have to get another woodcutter at some point soon. Especially because this guy's so damn lazy. Sutton, come on. Wake up and do something. Struggling to sleep on the ground. <laughs> yeah, we'll get some beds soon. Um, definitely get some beds very, very soon, actually. Um, but yeah, I think we'll end the episode there. We're doing really, really well with this, uh, this lovely structure over here. And uh, yeah, I'm really loving that. So, as ever, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye now.